Okay, so today on Etsy, we are at 131,412 sales uh, from digital products. Again, I have only 31 products on there, so you don't need to have like 1,000 products. Um, you know, you don't need to upload or to create loads of products on there. You have to optimize every single listing to the perfection and you've got to spend some time on it. Um, you've got to, you've got to spend time. You've got to analyze the data once you have them. And there are many things to think about, um, and to take into consideration once you optimize, once you want to, to, to optimize them. Um, but yeah, just to tell you that you don't need to uh, spend thousand hours creating loads of products on Etsy. This is the beginning of your funnel. And this is where people are going to find you once they type keywords. So make sure that you, you do it well, make sure that you spend some time on it, make sure that you are, you know, you, you pay attention to details on there. And there are a few things to do. Uh, I can't go through everything on a video, otherwise it's going to take me ages, but they are like, we have a plan for that, the 30 plus uh, personalized plan for this to go through every single task and everything you've got to implement uh, within your store and within your listings to make sure that they rank first and to make sure that they convert. Um, what I wanted to say also is your business does not and should not stop on its own. Right, like you've got Etsy, this is the beginning of your funnel, this is an asset, um, this is where they discover you, but then you you really have to get the customers and your, um, your Etsy visitors out of the platform and get them on your list so it, you can build your audience, they can start to discover you, they can start to discover your behind the scene and your business is not Etsy, like your business can start from Etsy but does not stop there and should not stop there.